In this video, we have a 2012 Cadillac SRX with a check engine light with a P0014. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. This video will apply to most GM vehicles that have the same 3.6 liter V6 engine. The code we have on this vehicle is the P0014, which is the exhaust camshaft position performance code on bank one. This engine has VVT, or variable valve timing, and what that does is that gives you extra horsepower and fuel mileage in such a small engine. Basically, you have rotating components inside the engine, and the computer needs to time those components. And if those components are not timed properly, that's when you get these codes. One of the potential causes for this code is the camshaft position solenoid valves, which are located on the front of the engine. On this engine, you have four of these solenoid valves. You have two on the back and two on the front. This lower one controls the timing for the exhaust. This upper one controls the timing for the intake. Now how these work is with redirecting oil pressure or oil flow. So guess what? If your oil level's low or your oil's not up to par, they're not gonna work right. Before you go changing any of these components, you wanna check your oil level. Make sure it's not low and make sure the oil looks good. If you've neglected to change your oil or it was extremely low, the damage is probably already done and you're gonna need to change those solenoids. Here's what the solenoid valve looks like when it's out of the vehicle. Here's where the oil goes in, these different passages. And what you wanna check for is to see if you see any metal particles in here. And I don't see any metal particles, which is good. If you see metal on these screens, there is more internal engine damage and you're gonna have to go deeper into the motor than just changing the solenoid valves. So changing that camshaft position actuator valve and changing the oil should fix your problem. A good way to prevent this is to keep up on your oil changes and double check your oil level regularly. What we're looking at on the scan tool is the desired camshaft position and the actual camshaft position. And if you have the ability to change the timing of the camshafts, they should follow each other. And if they're not, there's something wrong with that solenoid. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.